ever so in due, due course, we can expect, of course, to um, updated forecast to reflect um, all the government um, policy announcements, announcements up to that time. Baroness Faulkner of Margravine. My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. <laughs> the British Government attaches great importance to our relations with the Gulf states and is committed to strengthening our already strong relationship with the Kingdom of Bahrain. We are concerned by increasing tension in the run-up to parliamentary elections there on the 23rd of October. We hope that all sectors of Bahraini society will engage fully in the political process and work to reduce current tensions. We encourage the government of Bahrain to allow all groups competing in the election level playing fields and to maintain its programme of democratic reforms. My Lord, the noble Lord must be aware of the deteriorating political situation. He's just alluded to it. Is he aware that political activists have been imprisoned, have been denied access to lawyers, there are allegations of torture attached to them, and opposition parties and NGOs that were legal till recently have been banned in the last few days? How do we expect a level playing field in that regard? And uh, the allegation is that there has been a terrorist prop, a plot against the government of Bahrain, which the US, of course, refutes. So I wonder if you would care to tell the House whether a, Her Majesty's government agrees that there has been a terrorist plot and how they will consider recalibrating their position with Bahrain should the elections turn out to be a complete sham. Um, well, I, I, I thank the, no, my noble friend for her concern in this matter, which is a very proper one, because we take all allegations of torture extremely seriously, and we are aware there have been allegations made in a number of cases. Uh, of course, we're dealing with a long-term situation of great pressure under which Bahraini society has to operate with pressures from all sides, and particularly the question of uh, influence from Iran. But nevertheless, these are extremely worrying allegations. Our ambassador has raised them and demanded and sought for transparency and due process in all cases. They've been raised at the highest ministerial level as well, and we will continue to pursue uh, our questions about uh, the allegations of torture. I have to say that the Bahraini authorities <laughs> insist that they have nothing to hide and that there is no evidence of torture. But nevertheless, the allegations remain, and we will con continue to raise them with the Bahraini authorities. My lord, my lord, my lord um, I, I declare my interest as the vice chair of the Bahraini APPG in declaring so, while accepting the noble baroness's uh, premise of some of the difficulties that Bahrain faces. Does he accept that there has been tremendous improvement in governance structures of Bahrain, and does he accept that uh, British government support is absolutely critical at this point, given that it is? one of the two Gulf countries that's seeking uh, the political mandate from its people. Uh, yes, yes, I do accept that. It is a way ironic that the two Gulf states that are making most progress on democratic and parliamentary reform, Kuwait and Bahrain, of the two, the Bahrain should become in for the criticism. Nevertheless, my noble friend is absolutely right to be concerned about the allegations. Torture for us is unacceptable wherever it occurs in the world and uh, where it occurs amongst those of our friends, then the very fact that we have friendship and a good relationship enables to take it up in a very frank and effective way. But the Noel Barrett is quite right on this matter. My Lords, we are very, very grateful to the Foreign Secretary for making a telephone call to the Crown Prince about the detention and torture of a British citizen amongst the dozens who have been detained for political reasons. But would he now make another telephone call asking the Bahraini ruling family if, first of all, they will grant permission to the families of the detainees to visit them without having ten security men standing in the background, and also that their lawyers can visit without being observed. And finally, could the Foreign Secretary ask them whether they will invite the UN rapporteurs on torture and on um, Ill uh, arbitrary detention to pay a visit to Bahrain and investigate the circumstances. Well, I, um, I think the, uh, my noble friend is talking about a, a particular case. It's quite difficult to talk on the details in an in individual case where permission has not been given by the individual for it to be discussed. But if, as I think he is, he's referring to the case of uh, Mr. Al Hisabi, uh, who has been detained and where there uh, were a lot of allegations made, then I can tell him that th th there were indeed 
matters raised at very high levels, whether by telephone or face-to-face -face about this matter, that there was, has been consular access for the individual because he had dual nationality, and that uh, uh, in the future there could be further consular access. I am advised that there will be no problem at all about further access and about uh, facing the issue he raised about the position of the families and their support. As to visits from outside bodies for, to examine the whole situation, this is uh, a, a possibly a, well, a worthwhile idea, I agree. And um, I'm advised that the Bahraini authorities would not be particularly adverse to the right kind of inspection or visit from outside authorities to monitor the truth of the allegations, some of which may have basis, some of which may be false, and to present their case, which is that there is no real evidence of torture. My lords, my lords um, I'm sure that we all agree that wherever torture occurs, it should be uh, condemned in the unequivocal way that the Minister has done, and, and we welcome that. But does the Minister also agree that Bahrain is a relatively liberal uh, Gulf state, that the elections there have been inclusive of women, that there have been women in senior levels in Bahrain and the government, and, and indeed it's inclusive of different uh, religious groupings as well. Um, my Lords, I wonder therefore, given that sort of history and given the excellent relationship to which the Minister has referred, whether the Minister does believe that now really is the moment, I mean really now, to approach the Bahrainis on inspections of their prisons and places of detention, because I, like the Minister, think that uh, there is reason to believe that that sort of approach might be well received. Yes, I, I agree with the, the Noel Baroness. I think this may now be an idea that we are certainly prepared to consider. And as I said earlier, my impression is that the Bahraini authorities themselves would be favourable to some proposition of this kind. It's certainly something we'll consider puttering to the Bahraini authorities. House to be in committee on the terrorist asset freezing etc. bill. Lord Sassoon. Uh, 